Hey everyone, welcome to Book Talk Tuesday. Uh, I'm just going to apologize for not being around for the last few weeks. Uh, the beginning of the school year is basically insane in my mind. Uh, I'm teaching a new grade at a new school and it's just been a lot, um, but it's been super fun and enjoyable. Uh, but I have to stay on top of it and I've been forgetting to kind of get on here to do some book talk. So here's what I've got that I've just finished and I want to show you what's up next for me as well. So the first one I have, honestly, I love this author so much. Rob Baya, he wrote Because of Mr. Terrip and the other two that uh, went after. This one is called The Perfect Secret. I talked about it last time, how it's the sequel to The Perfect Score. I hardly ever say this. Like I can maybe think of four books that I say this about, but this one is the second one and I guarantee it's better than the first. It is so good. I couldn't put it down. I love the way he writes. I love the whole teacher-student connection, obviously, the teacher's thing. Uh, but I love how he writes in different perspectives. This one takes the same group of kids from the perfect score and uh, takes them into grade seven. And it's all about just some little secrets uh, that they each keep and some bigger secrets they keep together. Uh, it deals with some harsher issues. It talks about racism and stereotypes and things like that which is uh, something that I think we all need to be talking about to our students. So get this one right away. I couldn't put it down. It's so, so good. I love it, Rabaya. Uh, this one I also just read Whiz Through. It's the new Jacqueline Woodson one called Harbor Me. This one's really interesting. It's about a group of kids that are kind of in a special classroom and they get told that they can have um, every Friday, they get put into like a little room where they can just talk, no one's monitoring them, no one's, you know, deciding what they are talking about or anything, but they really learn to bond together and to talk about some really deep issues that they're struggling with, with their families. It also talks a lot about um, the perception of the world and the racism that's going on and things like that. So it's a must read. It's something we need to be talking about with our students. Uh, not when they're ready, but because everyone needs to be talking about these things because they exist. So that one's been great as well. Two of my next books I'm going to read this week. Uh, one is uh, this brand new book. Well, it's actually not out yet, um, but it's called The Missing Piece of Charlie O'Reilly. And it's by Rebecca Ansari. I hope I say, I'm saying her last name right. But I'm really excited to read this book. I just kind of started it. I'm already really into it. And I hope to have it finished for you before next week's book talk. And the next one, I just picked this up from the library, but I am a huge Barbara O'Connor fan. And she came out with this. Uh, it's called Wonderland. And it just, it looks so good. It sounds so good. And I really, really want to read it. So I'm going to read that this week. So hopefully I'll be able to talk about those two to you next week. And uh, if you have some good requests or things you want me to book talk about or things I haven't read yet, I need some more ideas, uh, especially for grade fours. If you've got some good ideas, tell me what you like, tell me what to review, and maybe give me some ideas for a classroom read out loud. See you guys next week.